Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Excuse me to the South Jersey Field of Dreams, Faces for Autism Dinner. I'm Jake Packard. Uh, as we wrap up tonight's program, I would be remiss if I did not thank the hundreds of sponsors that have given back their afternoon, their many months of planning to make sure that tonight went off without a hitch. I would be remiss if I did not thank the Borgata Hotel, Casino and Spa. They have helped not only me tonight with tonight's program, but, but over the last 10 years with the South Jersey Field of Dreams being one of our proud media sponsors. I would also be remiss if I did not thank the Ocean Casino Resort in Atlantic City. Now, getting down to business. My next guest tonight is a, was a former baseball coach at the Atlanta County Institute of Technology. He was also a gym teacher and a, a, a principal and coordinator of the adult education program at ACID. Joining me tonight is Eric Wolf, former coach, gym teacher, and and administrator at ACIT. Eric, thank you for joining me tonight. Jake, good to be with you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So uh, first question tonight is, uh, tell us how you got involved because you, with us at the Field of Dreams because you you weren't involved with us till really when you started as a PE teacher. Correct. So. Um, when I was hired at ACIT and became an assistant baseball coach, our head coach, Mike Anthony, um, and his current assistants, Kenny Morganwick and Gabe Staino, really spearheaded the effort um, to um, get us involved with the Field of Dreams, along with our parent organization, uh, the Santa Marias, the Grazianos, the Whitmers, just to name a few. Um, so we all work together. Um, in coordination um, to get our team to the field of dreams and uh, and to become a regular part of your schedule there. And you were a regular part of my schedule and you still are, and ACIT still is, uh, even though the families change, the building does not. And ACIT has always been not only there for the field of dreams, but they've been, they've been, they were there for me personally as a student. As Eric will tell you, I was a proud, I am a proud alumni of that building. 2017, can't believe it's been nearly six years, uh, but you know, an in, in ACIT offers something that not all school districts offer, and it's the family orientedness of the, of the building our key club comes out and they bring droves upon droves of volunteers each year. So without buildings like ACIT, the Field of Dreams cannot be what we do. So my next question, Eric, is, um, over your time, is there one particular memory that has stood out why you've been with us at the field? So certainly um, it was always a, a great experience to come out to the field of dreams. Um, the one, the one lasting impression that, that I always came away with after a day at the field of dreams is just how much our players enjoyed being there and just how much they enjoyed passing their knowledge of baseball on to all the participants of the field of dreams. That was very satisfying and rewarding to me. Uh, to watch our players who did such a great job coming out there and volunteering with all the participants of the Field of Dreams. Um, you know, certainly that was a great experience and something I know will continue in the future. Yes, and something that has continued uh, into the future, it well into as far as I'm concerned, because, and, and what's funny, what's nice is you've heard stories like I had 
Matt Marmero, who I'm sure Eric remembers as a former player. Oh, God, without aging myself too much again, seven, eight years ago. But, but it was people like that, that that went to coach and said, look, there's this organization out there called the Field of Dreams and we want to volunteer. And you see, if it weren't for people like that, ACIT may have not gotten on the map to volunteer at the field. Absolutely. And, and uh, I only had the pleasure to coach Matt uh, Marmoreau for one year. That was actually my first year um, coaching at ACIT. Great kid, um, you know, very intelligent, very charismatic. Uh, went on, I believe he went to Rutgers University, did great things there. Um, you know, and it, it's, I know Matt always really enjoyed getting out there. Matt was um, symbolic of our entire team. All of our student athletes um, really enjoyed coming to the Field of Dreams and um, spending a day there. Um, you know, and they, they really found it to be a rewarding experience to get out there and be around baseball. Um, and be with other participants of the Field of Dreams. Yeah, and I mean, and I mean, the kids are still asking me, like, for example, tonight's fundraiser. How, like the the when I put this out there asking for help online, I'm thinking, eh, I make it one, two, maybe three. No, the response blew me out of the water with the amount of people. And I think Eric who's on screen with me now and everybody who has done, even if you've sat here and talked to me on camera, the response from people that I have not spoken to in nearly a decade to people that are still involved Thank you. Just does not seem to be enough coming from my mouth to the board of trustees to anyone involved. Thank you for what you've given me over the last three, four, or five months because it does not. I may have done a lot of work to put tonight together, but I cannot do it by myself. And Jake, I think I can speak for everyone. It is our pleasure to be involved uh, with the organization. Like I said, it's it's always a rewarding experience, not only for ACIT, but but for all the organizations to be out there. And and you've become so popular at the Field of Dreams. It's it's actually becoming difficult to find a time slot to come on out. You know, it's it's difficult to get out there because it's so popular and so booked up. You really have to plan in advance, but thank you for having us and the pleasure's all ours. And I thank you back. And because like Eric said, so many people want to be involved. And the last thing I want to do is turn someone away. I, I've had to do it to a few people because we've been so booked and you know, I'm so grateful for everything everybody does. And the last thing I want to do, because, because we're so booked up, is turn someone away. I hate, have, if there was one part of the field that I dislike, that's the part that I, I, it's, I, to send someone an email to say, I'm sorry, we're all booked up. I hate putting those words on a piece of paper to send to somebody because, because you know, I mean, thank God people understand, but it doesn't feel good to me writing it on the other end of the, uh, on the other side of the exchange. Certainly, certainly. It's, it's been very popular, very popular for many organizations. And I know ACIT and all our organizations, not only the baseball team, and, and I know Coach Coyle, when I coached with him, Sean Coyle, uh, he continued our involvement there. And it was great to get the, the kids and the team out. But like you said, a lot of different clubs and organizations like the Key Club at ACIT uh, really enjoy coming out and being a part of that experience. So if you could give an Eric last question, if you could give anyone any advice as to why they should bring their children out to volunteer, 
what would you give give your humble advice to? Sure. I, I would just say simply this. Anytime that you have the ability to be part of our great American game, don't let that opportunity pass you by. Be a part of it and go out there and be a part of not only a great group of fellow volunteers out there at the Field of Dreams, uh, but also be a part of uh, being able to experience our great American game with all the participants of the Field of Dreams. It's very um, gratifying and it's very rewarding experience there. Um, and, and it's you can't beat a day at the ballpark. No, you can't. The food is delicious. Uh, please, you can be the day at the ballpark. If you would like more information, please visit www.southjerseyfieldofdreams.com. You'll pick one of these lovely flyers up that has my face on the cover of it. Uh, if you would, if you would like one of those, they're right on the back table behind, well, behind when you walk in the restaurant.